You are looking at the most important real estate on the internet. This is Google My Business. Today, we're going to be talking about reviews. You know, those little stars that you see over there. The, the world is in a review mode today. Every business, every teacher, every doctor, every lawyer, everybody's getting reviewed, including your small business. This is Randy Kirk. And today on Small Business Daily, we're going to be talking about how you can use the entire world of reviews in order to get more highly ranked on Google My Business. Because if you own a small local business, you want to be right here where my client is, Bill Raymond. You want to be number one on the three pack. You're looking at the three pack right here. If you're not in the three pack, you're in the view all section. You don't want to be in the view all section. Well, you want to be there if nowhere else, but you need to do the things that we've been talking about for the last three days and that we'll be talking about for at least one more day that will help you to get to where Bill is. I've been doing this for 13 years for over 300 clients and I have secret stuff. I have secret sauce and I'm sharing it with you. And I'm hoping that you're going to take advantage of it so that your phone will ring like crazy, like Bill's does. Okay, let's take a look at the review part of what's going on here. You'll notice that all three of these individuals have almost 5.0. So there's 5.0, 5.0, and 4.9. That's good enough. You do not want to be under 3.5, and you really don't want to be under 2.5. They've done studies, and if you are 3.5 or higher, most people will say, ah, they're probably okay, and they're not going to look in detail at the reviews. If you're 4.9 or 5, believe me, unless they just want to see the details and compare Bill with Henry with Best Mortgage Lenders, unless they're going to just go make a bunch of comparisons, they're not going to be looking at your reviews. So, But if you're under 3.5, then they're going to say, I wonder why, and they're going to start looking in more detail. So what we're going to want to look at right now is how do you get yourself up to 5.0 that the only way you can do it is if you're already lower is by getting more folks to give you more reviews that are 5.0 or close. And over time, your, to your total stars will start to go up. Uh, that's the only way to do it. There's no other, there's no other way. And besides that, you want more and more and more reviews. I'm going to pretend I'm a consumer right now. I come into this best mortgage broker Los Angeles uh, search. I see these three people in the three pack. Think about it yourself. If you were the consumer, who would you call? Well, your first inclination looking at this is that they all look kind of the same unless you look in detail. So the vast majority of the people are just going to start with number one. I don't remember the exact statistics, but it's the vast majority of the people will start by calling the top person on the list. And then some smaller number of people will call the second person and some smaller number will call the third person. You want to be number one, but you certainly want to be in the three pack. The second thing that might alert you would be the number of stars. If one of those individuals was 3.5 and the other two were both 5 or 4.9 or 4.8, you probably wouldn't pay any attention to the 3.5. You would call the one or the ones who had the 5.0 rating. That's just natural. It's just normal. It would look obvious. Number three, I know I do this. I'm guessing some of you do this. I look at the number of reviews. So I'm showing Bill here with only 21 and Henry has 131. This fellow has 37. I might not care very much between the 37 and the 21, but I might sometimes be inclined to call Henry because there's 131 of these uh, star, 131 people that are reviewed him. So visually and consumer wise, getting a lot more reviews is going to make a big difference, not only in your ranking, we'll show that in a minute, but also the way somebody perceives you when they're trying to make a choice. Now let's talk about what Google thinks. When Google looks at this, According to, the, according to the statistics, Google wants you to have at least 10 reviews. If you have one or two or three, it's better than having none. But between one and 10 probably isn't affecting your ranking very much. Once you go over 10, according to people that have reversed 
engineered the uh, Google My Business area. If you go over 10, that becomes significant to Google if you have more than 10 reviews. It appears that if you have 11 to 99, no big difference. It's not going to dramatically affect your ranking. It might affect a, a little bit. It's hard to know for sure, but it's when you go over 100 is the next time when Google is going to pay attention and give you a higher ranking because of the number of reviews. According to all of the experts that I've read, there is nothing that Google determines with regard to ranking based on how many stars you have. Apparently, they don't care whether you're 2.0 or 5.0 when it comes to ranking you. So while that may be very critical in the consumer's decision whether to use you or not, it doesn't seem to affect the way that Google thinks about you in terms of your ranking. So those are the key things from the outside. Now let's think about, let's go in and take a look at what things look like on the inside. We're going to go to uh Google my business. We're going to go to, so we're going to go to Bill Raymond's listing page and we're going to find out what you can do within the listing page. If you haven't set yourself up on Google my business yet, if you don't have a listing, you need to go in and claim and your existing listing that Google may have done for you. Or if you've never had a listing, you can set up a brand new listing. We have multiple videos that tell you how to do that. Uh, those will be in the, uh, the, Description below will be a link where you can go and get the detailed step-by-step -step way to set up your listing on Google My Business. That's not for today, but there are plenty of videos that we've created to do that. Now then, you wanna go down here to reviews to learn more about what you can do with regard to reviews. So now you're gonna, you're gonna see that it says, show me all my reviews or show me the ones I've replied to. I don't think that's very relevant. I'm not sure why anybody would care about that unless you wanted to edit your reply or add another reply, but haven't replied. You are gonna want to reply to every single review that somebody puts up about you. You're gonna wanna reply to the positive reviews and you're gonna wanna reply to the negative reviews. And you're gonna have a couple of different jobs to do when you're doing that. On all reviews, you're going to want to use whatever the person said as a way to talk positively about your business. So let's say it's a positive review. This first one says, Bill took the time to expertly answer my questions. You could say, I take great pride in the fact that I stay way ahead of the market in terms of what's happening with mortgages and refinances so that I can help you make a good decision. You, you can say something like that, which uses keywords and which re-emphasizes what it was that, in this case, Daniel said. This re-emphasis is going to be very beneficial if somebody actually goes in and starts looking at the reviews and the responses. But from the standpoint of Google, they don't care what you said about the review. What they care about is there was keywords in there. So the keywords are going to help you to make yourself more relevant to Google in terms of the keywords that you care about. You're also going to want to, for the purposes of your reputation, say those kind things about yourself, reflecting what Daniel said. Okay. Now let's say that it's a negative review. You are going to want to avoid being defensive. You're going to avoid arguing. You're going to avoid any kind of thing that looks like that you don't agree, you are going to try to clear your mind of the anger that you feel because this person was not appropriate in the way that they did the review. And you're going to say, I want to respond to this review in a way that's going to help me sell more stuff. And the way that you're going to do that is you're going to affirm what they said. No matter how much, no matter how hard it is to do, you're going to affirm, you're going to say, I'm really sorry that you had that experience when you were here. The very next morning, I had a meeting with my staff to talk about your concerns. And we have made a decision to, and here's where you're going to say, improve the quality of our response time, or we're going to make sure that 
We understand that the customer is always right. Whatever it is that you think is the reverse situation of what their complaint is, you want to make it sound like it's always been your policy. So you can even say that. It has always been our policy to make sure that we respond within 15 minutes to every single call. But I had sat down with my staff and discussed how we're going to get even better. This is the kind of thing that's going to really help. Once again, use keywords. But the keywords in the case of a negative review are not as important as, re as so showing your potential, showing the prospect that you care about your customer enough to acknowledge you could have gotten it wrong, your staff could have gotten it wrong, and that you are aware of the problem, you're willing to address it, you're taking full responsibility, and here's what you're gonna do in the future. Okay, that's how you respond to reviews. How do you get more reviews on Google My Business? Well, the other thing you're wanna, gonna to wanna to do with reviews is get more of them. And Google wants you to get more of them. They are very interested in you getting as many positive and great reviews as you possibly can. And so they help you. Right over here on the home page. if you scroll down, you're gonna find get more reviews. How much more clear could they make it? You're going to then click here to the share review form and look how easy they make it. You can send a request for reviews out on your Facebook. You can send a request for re review out on WhatsApp or Twitter. You can send it out. So you can send out bulk requests for people to review you. The other thing you can do is easily send it out by email. So what do you want to do here? You want to send out an email or send out a Facebook post that says something like I did at the beginning of this video. In today's world, reviews really matter. If you've had a great experience visiting our business or, or, or using our products or services, it would be fantastic if you would give us a review uh, on Google My Business. Here's the link. Just as simple as that. Um, you send out an email, you can say the same thing. With an email, of course, you can be way more personal. You can say, hey, uh, we're just about to wrap, in this case, Bill Raymond does mortgages. Hey, we're just about to wrap up this mortgage. We should close next Tuesday. I wonder if you would mind uh, going on Google My Business and giving me a review. Uh, I, I, I'm hoping that you've really appreciated uh, the amount of service that we've given you. Something like that. I'm not giving you the details. Now, when you're doing it in the email, and it's somebody that you think you've got good rapport with, you can even make some recommendations to them as to what they say. So there's three things you really want them to say. You want them to mention who it was they worked with. You want them to mention the keyword mortgage or uh, re mortgage refinance or first time home buyer or VA loan. You want them to mention a couple of keywords, at least one, and the city where the transaction took place. These are the three key things that you'd like them to say. The rest of it, yeah, you know, they, a long one works better than a short one. Uh, there's lots of other things you can tell them, but those are the three keys. And if you think that you've got good rapport, ask them if they wouldn't mind doing that for you. Okay. So that is how you can get way more reviews very, very quickly through Google My Business. Now, what we've been talking about so far Again, I just can't begin to tell you that these are secret sauces. These are things that are being changed. Sometimes these are brand new things that Google has just started doing. And you're not gonna know about it. You're not gonna have anybody that get, that's telling you about it, even in reviews that were done a year ago. You're not gonna even be able to find it on other YouTube videos that were shot a year ago because a lot of it's brand new or those individuals haven't been doing it for 13 years and for over 300 clients like I have. So these are the secret sauce. Now here's another very cool thing that you can do as a result of your good reviews is that you can use the reviews on your own website. You can use them on your Facebook. You can use them anywhere you want to. You can just copy and paste them. Uh, you can scroll through them and put them up on a Word doc and then, and then use them for some application. And there's even ways for you to embed these reviews on your website. I'm gonna recommend that you go to oneupweb.com. They have a page called google-reviews-on-website. 
Or you can just look up how to embed Google reviews on my website. Either way, uh, here's a particular one where they have a very good, easy to understand system for embedding uh, the Google reviews on your website. Um, once you have that embed capability um, set up, then every time a new review comes up, that new review is gonna show up on your website. So this is our section on reviews. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna be talking about pictures and posts. These are, there are ways to use pictures and posts on Google My Business that are definitely gonna help your ranking and that are definitely gonna help you sell more product as a result of visitors that come to look at those pictures or look at those posts. And it is more secret sauce. You just aren't gonna get this information anywhere else but right here on Google My Business, and we'll see you next time.